Hi guys, Squirrel here, back with another episode of Trucking Diaries. Now, uh, if you remember, at the end of the last episode, we end up in Jackpot. Right up here. <laughs> right up there in Jackpot. And if you remember, I also said to you, well, we had a, a quick look at the, um, the job market. There's actually a job coming down to Truckee. We've not been to Truckee. So, two of my goals here are to try and, well, firstly get as much money as we can, which means taking these... Uh, high value cargoes and fragile cargoes but secondly is to go to places we've not been to before because I want to unlock these cities uh, because when we get our own truck we'll be able to click on the different cities we've unlocked and take you know goods out of those things it's very handy uh, but also because then we get to see more scenery so I'm not going to do this job even though it get slightly more money because we've already done that journey instead I'm going to do this one from Redding California down to Truckee in California we've not been here and we're this time we're in a Peterbilt 579 duty cabin. So let's take that one. Okay. Now, this is going to be a night journey. It's 7.35pm. And we're due to arrive something like between midnight and 5am, I think it was. So this is a full-on night job. Let's get the lights on. Have a quick look at the uh, truck. Oh, that's nice. That's an interesting trailer. We've not done anything like this so far in Trucking Diaries. How heavy is this? Seven ton digger is what it is. And they want it there tonight so they can work on it tomorrow, I believe. Okay, which way do we get out of here? It looks like it's this way. Yep, there we go. Yo! Good evening, Mr. UPS. I like how it's not UPS, it's UDS. <laughs> We're just same style trucks and the same style logo. Everything's the same. Except, like, one letter is different. It's hilarious. It cracks me up in a way, because, like, from SCS's point of view, they're not allowed to put, legally not allowed to put, UPS in the game, unless they've spoken to UBS and specifically got a license to put it in the game. And, who knows, UPS might go, yeah, it's fine, put it in the game, that'd be awesome, that's cool. Or they might turn around and go, nope, you're not putting it in the game, we don't want it in the game. Or they might turn around and say, yeah, you can do it, uh, for a price. So, you know, from SCS's point of view, it's easier to put something that looks like UPS, but call it UDS, than it is to go and speak to UPS. And I just find the whole thing hilarious, quite frankly. Because at the end of the day, if it had it in the game, in a way, it's completely free advertising for UPS. Like, why would... Like, if I was a logistics company, say I was... Say I actually had a company called Squirrel Logistics, right? So I actually had that company in real life as a real logistics operator and SCS said to me can we put your company in the game and, and your style of um, vehicles can we put them in the game I'll be like yeah just do it just do it why would I not want that it's everybody that plays the game everybody that watches a stream or a video is gonna see my name in the game and I'm a logistics company that's brilliant free PR why would I ever say no but who knows? Maybe maybe other companies feel completely differently. It's the same with things like McDonald's. I mean, if you want to put McDonald's in the game, you'd like you'd, you'd like to think, oh, you just bang an email over to McDonald's and go, hey, McDonald's, um, we've got this game set in America. Oh, look at that sunset in the mirror. Are you kidding me? Wowzers. I mentioned it's curious that when you look through the mirror, you can see the sun. And when you look, you can see the mountain because the mountains draw distance. Um, but yeah, you'd like to think you could just email McDonald's and go, yo, McDonald's, can we put uh, McDonald's burger bars all over the map? Because it'll look really cool. And you'd like to think they'd reply back and go, of course you can. Just do it. It's awesome. Let me in, bro. Let me in. Let me in, bro. Um, but the reality is, it's going to be nothing like that. We just passed a uh, cop car. Which makes me think we're about to, um... There, he's just passed us as well. I, I was going to say, is he going to ask us to submit for a weighing? Oh, that'd be 
beautiful sunsets here. Every day they get amazing sunsets. Right, let me have a look at the information because this is a, uh, I think it's a 10 speed box. Yeah, it's a 10 speed box. So my controller can cope with it without any adjustment. Average 4.7 miles per gallon, which should start to rise. Yeah, we're doing 5.7 at the moment. It should start to rise now because we're in 10th on the highway. Uh, we're also breaking the speed, so I need to back off a little bit. 67 gallons of fuel. I decided, when I was change, decided on my settings to play American Truck Sim, and obviously you get a choice over currency, you get a choice over things like litres or gallons, things like kilograms or pounds, all that kind of stuff you can set. And I kind of went for a strange hybrid, so I went for miles and miles per hour because, well, that's what America uses, and quite frankly, that's what the UK uses, so it's familiar and it's natural to have that inside American Truck Sim. When I'm in Euro Truck Sim, I'm quite happy to have it on kilometres per hour uh, and that kind of thing. However, when it comes to things like miles per gallon or litres per 100k, let me slow down because I am genuinely speeding here. Um, I decided to put it on miles per gallon and gallons because although it's a US gallon, it's very simple, similar to a English gallon. So I understand that. And miles per gallon makes sense to me, unlike litres per 100 kilometre. Um, so I've got a kind of hybrid. And then I've got Celsius, which of course America uses Fahrenheit. But Fahrenheit doesn't mean anything to me really, apart from I know that 90 Fahrenheit... There we go, inspection hype. 90 Fahrenheit is approximately 30 Celsius. And 32 Fahrenheit is 0 Celsius. Those I know, but... You know, if it says 70 or 80 or 85, I'm not, I'm not really... I've got a vague idea, but not... I just feel much more comfortable with Celsius. So I went for that. There we go. Way station service passed. One thing I am curious... Oops, stalled it. One thing I am curious about... About these way stations. If I was driving with a mod... Like, what is it measuring exactly? It's measuring my weight, but... Is it measuring the weight versus what I'm legally allowed to... What I'm legally allowed to carry? Or... Is it measuring it based on my license as a driver? I genuinely don't know. Under what circumstances is it going to say, Sorry, you're due a fine, because that trailer is overweight. Or, you're not licensed to carry those goods. Because I, I think the job market's not going to give me anything that I'm not allowed to take anyway from, from thinking this through. Like, until I get hazardous substances as a driver qualification... Are you kidding me? I'm going the same... What? I just lost $1,000 and I'm driving the same speed as all these vehicles. I feel a bit hard done by. Pretty certain I was doing about 37 at that point. And I got done for doing 30, for not doing 35. Well, that's annoying because that's a hefty chunk of my profit. Well, there you go. I obviously was speeding. Um, so that's scumbaggery. <laughs> but as I was saying, it's not going to give me, um, I don't know, hazardous chemicals. And I don't have a hazardous chemical license on my driver profile. It's not going to do that. If it did, it would be awesome. Because then I take the risk, and if I pull into a weighing station and I don't have the license, then I should be fined. Same thing with the trailers and the weights. If I've got, if I take a trailer and it's, I don't know, 28 tons, and the trailer is not rated for that, or my driving license doesn't allow me to haul that, or whatever it is, I should be fined. But I can't see a situation where I'm ever going to be given anything that I can't take because the job market's going to dictate it. So now I'm thinking, well, what happens if we get mods, trailer mods, that, that give us things that we're not allowed to carry? Like illegally overweight trailers. You know, what happens then? Has this got a, a retarder? No. Okay, we need to slow down here. 
I was hoping for to use a retarder, but we don't have one on this thing. Um, so yeah, I have a... Come on, bro, move over, move over, move over. I don't want an accident, but seriously, give way, bro. you got plenty of lane on this side, though. You could easily let me in. So yeah, I'm kind of confused about these weighing stations and what their actual purpose is. Um, other than to make you pull over and it go, yep, that's fine. Because <laughs> if that's all it is, that's a bit boring. They could have done a bit more with that. But I'm sure there's more to it. I just don't know what it is. I am so annoyed about losing a thousand dollars. I really am. Because that is ten percent of my money right there. But it's not so much that. I mean I know I was speeding up back there, I was doing like um about sixty in a fifty five zone. But I'm pretty certain when I got done for speeding then I was doing 50, uh, 37, 38 maybe in a thirty five, and that's harsh. I don't know what it's like in the UK, but... Uh, sorry, in America. But in the UK, normally speaking, they say allow an extra 10% plus 2. So if the speed limit was 30 miles per hour published, then 10% of that is 3 plus 2 is, is 5. So anything up to 35, they're not going to pull you over for because... Or issue you a ticket because... Not everybody's speedometer is accurate enough. It's just not. So they allow this margin of 10% plus 2. Which, if we'd have had that margin built in, I would not have got done for speeding then. But I was actually in flow with traffic. That's the confusing thing. I was in flow with traffic and I got done for speeding. It's not like I was banging it down the interstate, you know? But yeah, whatever. I mean, in the real world, you'd be lucky if police officer pulled you over in the UK for doing unless you were doing 40, he'd definitely pull you over for that but 35 mm, unless you're driving like a loon in the rain, I don't think he would Trucky, exit only we're in Trucky right, nothing coming city limit of Truckee. I wonder if it... Why is it called Truckee? Do lots of truckers hang out here? Maybe truckers founded it. <laughs> guys, guys, let's let's make our own city, alright? Let's just... Uh, we'll build some houses here and we'll make our own city and we'll have like a hamburger bar and a service stop for truckers. Cool, what should we call it? Let's call it Truckee. Yeah, that's a cool name. And then Ray can open his hamburger shop at the lights. And then Walbert, he can open a shop as well. <laughs> Even though I know that's supposed to be Walmart, but... I just wondered how the name Trucky came about. Did I see a sign then that had a truck going down a steep hill? I'm sure I did. Which makes me think now... How much I would love to have a retarder. Okay, there's actually a 30 limit here, so I need to back off. Yeah, I'm on the fence about what truck to get, guys. Um, if all Kenworths come with that 35, 45, 55 speedometer, then that alone is enough to put me off. I just feel more comfortable with 30, 40, 50. Wow, this is the first time I've seen... Whoa, the delivery point's here. Wowzers. That's so cool. I was about to say, this is the first time we've got to a bit of roadworks where I've had to wait for the a lane closure, but the fact the delivery point is actually here is awesome. We're delivering a digger to a... I'm going to have to get out of the way of the truck. The trailer's here. We're delivering a digger to a highly appropriate place. And that is absolutely sweet. Yeah, I thought I'd have to get out the way of traffic quickly. Because obviously I've got a bunch of traffic behind me. I still haven't turned that option off. Okay. Let's just follow it in the mirrors.
Let it roll that way a bit. And then turn it in a bit more. I would have thought that'll lock in. There you go. There's your digger. This is brilliant. I've never had a delivery point where there's like traffic going past. That's just so cool. 415 Company Collector. Excelente. Level 3. Oh. I thought it was on for level 3 hype then. Sadly not. Right. We are almost level 3. We've got 14,900. That would have been 15,900. Except for the scumbag fine. But fair enough. Whatever. It's done. Need to be careful. That's the bottom line. Need to be careful. That's it for another episode of Trucking Diaries. On the next episode, we are going to take a job. And I assure you, we'll be reaching level 3. But we'll go somewhere new. And hopefully in the daytime. That's it from me. Take care, guys. Happy trucking.